This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound has a massive library of music and sound effects and it feels like you have endless options, especially when it comes to sound effects. I mean 90,000 sound effects. So you will definitely find what you're looking for. So in today's tutorial, we are gonna use a clip here which has no audio and it's a guy standing on a wakeboard after a boat. So we need to put together our music track or our uh, our audio track before we actually go into making the transition. Now we're gonna search for speedboats and birds and also waves because that's what's going on in the clip. We can also choose the find similar if we don't find the one that we uh, look for right away. There's also a lot of music files that you can use as uh, a, a sort of a sound effect if you if you may if you don't find the sound effect that you want and then you find you know a music track and it has that part in the track which you really want to use uh, for your video as uh, a sound effect. What's good about Epidemic Sound is that you don't have to download the entire track. You can also download the stems which gives you full control over the audio. So you can select whether you want to use the melody, instruments, drums or bass depending on what's included in the track or you can select the entire mix. So now that you know how to download the stems make sure to sign up for a 30 day free trial with the link in the description below and link your YouTube, Facebook and Instagram account to get whitelisted so you don't get any copyright strikes. In today's video, we're gonna make a speed ramp audio effect in Luma Fusion. This is where we take the speed of the audio and match the speed of the video. So if we slow down the video file, in some cases we want to slow down the audio as well. So we're gonna go through the steps on how we can get the best possible speed ramping audio effect using Luma Fusion. Now moving over to Luma Fusion, I've already prepared the clip we're going to use, the guy with the wakeboard, and uh, we also have the sound effects which we put on our timeline, which is creating the audio of what you are seeing. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is to actually find the point in the clip here where this guy is leaving the water, and we're going to go to the next point here in the clip where we want the uh, slow motion to end. So let's take it right here when he is in midair. So if we make a cut here too, so now we have this small uh, cut in the middle of these two longer uh, files here. So if we go into edit on the smaller clip here, which we want to slow down and then over to speed and reverse, we can see the indicator here in Luma Fusion, which gives us an indication of how much we can slow this clip down before it starts to clip. So in a 23.98 FPS timeline, we can slow this down to 48%, so 0 0.48. Now moving back out to the timeline, we can see that the clip got extended, and this is because we added some slow motion to it. Now there's one thing that we need to do first before we actually slow down the clip, and that is to reset this so we can use the uh, undo button which is here, and then we're actually going to go to the beginning of this smaller clip and make sure that we have the playhead lined up exactly at this point. And then we're going to use the scissors and make a cut to all the audio files. We're also going to do this to the end of the small clip, so we're going to move the playhead to the end and make our second cut. So now we will have the same duration to the audio layers which is below the clip. So now that we have these cuts, we can move back into speed and reverse of the video file and slow this down to 0 0.48, so 48%. After slowing down this clip, we're gonna move over to the audio files and we're gonna go into speed and reverse on the audio files. And even though the indicator says that we can slow this down to 40%, we're still gonna slow it down to 48% so it matches the video clip which we have on track number one. We also need to make sure that we do this to the remaining two audio files. And once we slowed everything down, our project sounds like this. Now we can hear that the audio has a rapid change to it going from the normal speed to the slow down speed of the clip. So we want to smoothen out this and create that speed ramp or that speed hack to the audio layers so we don't have that clipping at the beginning and at the end of the part which is slowed down. 
So the first thing we're going to do is to go over to the settings button here and over to transitions and we're going to adjust the transitions here to something like 10 frames. So 0 0.10. Then we're going to take across the solve and place in between the two audio layers, the part which is at normal speed and the part which is slowed down. We're going to do this at the beginning of the slowdown clip and also at the end. And by doing this, we create a more smoother transition between the two audio layers, which has the normal and slow down speed. And listening to the final edit, you can really hear the difference between the two different files. So the first one is without cross dissolve and the next one is with the cross dissolve added to the speed changes of the audio. So hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section below what will you use the effects for and with and when and why. Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget the 50% off coupon travel 2022. 50% off on any bundle on Luma Fusion on robhkvlogs.com. Yes, that's going to be the end for today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.